There are certain recipes you just want to hand down to your youngins. This happens to be a dry rub recipe, Memphis style, and in it it takes 12 ingredients. Powdered chili peppers, paprika, coriander powder, thyme, celery seed, yellow mustard seeds, oregano, salt, black pepper, chili powder, garlic powder, and onion powder. In a minute I'll give you the proportions, but uh, we're just going to mix it up in a bowl, stir it up, put it in that jar. That's all there is to it. Now I'm going to make a double batch, so I'm going to use six tablespoons of paprika. This is used just for color. Six tablespoons of chili powder. Two tablespoons of salt. Four teaspoons of freshly ground pepper. Four teaspoons of garlic powder. Four teaspoons of onion powder. Four teaspoons of thyme. Three, four, four teaspoons of oregano, one te two teaspoons of coriander powder. Two teaspoons cayenne pepper powder. And I need four teaspoons of yellow pepper, a uh, yellow mustard seeds ground, and I'm going to have to use my little grinder for that. And I'll do the same thing with celery seeds, so I'll grind them at the same time. I only need two of those. So that's a film edit away. Now to do the yellow mustard seeds, you just take them and put them in your spice grinder, which is really a coffee grinder that's clean. And my recipe calls for, what is it here? Two teaspoons, so that's four teaspoons, and it's about a double volume, so that's put me closer to six or so. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I was making powder, I'd go for eight, but since I'm just coarse grinding, I'm going to go for six. So it's just about a time and a half. And on my and on my celery seeds, we'll do something very similar. I need how many celery seeds do I need? Celery seeds, I need one teaspoon. So I go about a teaspoon and a half of celery seeds, and they are so fine already. Won't do much with them. One. There we go. Oh, I need to double that, so it's one. And then my, there we go. That ought to take care. I'm sneezing a little bit from that red pepper powder. Ready? Here we go. I think that's about all we need right there.
And now we stir it and put it in our, our mason jar and we're done. Now to put it in your jar, I recommend you just take a little funnel and shake her on in there. It's not real difficult. It's probably going to make you sneeze that red pepper in there. But that's all you got to do. And to make the mop sauce, all you do is you take one cup of distilled vinegar and a cup of water, just a 50-50 mix, and a tablespoon of salt. Excuse me, I had red pepper. Oh my goodness. And then take two tablespoons of your dry rub and you mix it up in your mix, stir it up in your mop sauce, and you just brush your your ribs with that and that's all you need to do and just remember cook your ribs till they're just about done dry and then at the very last rub them down with your dry rub and you just about got her warped We're going to make some southern style barbecue sauce. Holler sauce this is. It's made with two cups of apple cider vinegar, with a cup of yellow mustard, with a cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, sheer, sheer, sheer sauce, a quarter cup of rooster sauce, uh, what is that, uh, two teaspoons of black pepper, two teaspoons of salt and that's it we just mix them all together now that it is dark brown sugar packed in the container so whenever you get uh, brown sugar you always remember that's a packed volume we just put her in the pot bring her to a boil so that the sugar and salt and stuff dissolves and then cool her down put her in a can that's all there is to it Now to make it, just dump the ingredients in. And just stir it up. Bring it to a boil. And that's all there is to it. Now we have just brought this to a boil. And that's all we need to do. The uh, sugar is dissolved. We're going to keep her stirred, but let her cool down. And then we'll put her in this clean jar here. 